Let's discuss a topic that flies higher than the national debt, the American flag. Now, before we begin, let's stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge... Just kidding, I know that you're probably watching this video in your underwear. However, I do want to talk to you about the flag. It's a grand old flag. It's a high-flying flag, and it's almost the 4th of July at time of recording, which means that everyone is feeling at least a little bit patriotic, as long as you count grilling and excessive drinking as patriotic. Because the American flag is more than just a piece of red, white, and blue fabric, it's a symbol of patriotism, freedom, childhood obesity, and some terrible fashion choices. But do you know that there are actual laws governing how we handle and display old glory? That's right, laws, plural, because nothing says freedom quite like a bunch of rules and laws that can be punishable by fine or jail time. And these rules and laws, which you can find online in the description of this video, are what we're going to go over today, and they help us show proper respect for our country and its flag. So let's start out with some of the basic rules that you may already know. Most people know that there are standards and requirements for flying the flag, like it should never touch the ground if you hang it above a table with merchandise, it's not supposed to touch that merchandise, and the union, which is the blue part with the star, should always be in the upper left if it's hanging from a wall. The flag should always be at the front of parades, it should be at the point of a group of flags, and it should be at the tippy top of a flag that has multiple flags on it. Because nothing screams America like being at the front of a parade and the center of attention. The flag also needs to be hung in good weather. I bet you didn't know that the American flag was a fair weather flag, did you? Okay, that was a bad joke, I know that. But the flag is supposed to be taken down if severe weather could damage it. Just like your underwear when it's on the clothesline. But there are some rules that many people either don't know or ignore completely. And that's what I really want to go over with you today. The ways that many people unintentionally disrespect the American flag. Like, did you know that the American flag is never supposed to be worn as clothing and apparel? Probably not, because in the real world, almost every American breaks this law. And while you can have the flag itself on your clothes, like, you know, the flag and then a, a flagpole, you can, you can do that. The issue comes when you are literally wearing the flag as a print on your clothes, which means that Uncle Sam, our country's mascot, breaks this law. And so does everyone that wears American flag print swimsuits, shirts, shorts, romp hers, romp hims, hats, sunglasses, scarves, speedos, cardigans, and more. You've probably broken this rule. I've broken this rule, and so have 75% of NASCAR fans. And what's wild is that you and I are not the only offenders of breaking this law. Professional sports teams, multi-million, some multi-billion dollar organizations have broken this rule. For example, Major League Baseball teams have worn stars and stripes uniforms for the 4th of July in the past, and they even promoted them as patriotic uniforms in 2017. But those uniforms are 100% breaking the rules that we've established to show proper respect to our flag. And an even bigger no-no is to wear the American flag as a cape, to drape it over yourself, which literally happens at every single Olympics when an American athlete medals. They drape the cape over themselves, and it seems super patriotic and no one bats an eye, but the truth is, instead of honoring our country, they're actually disrespecting it. And let's be honest, no one looks great when they wear the American flag as clothes. You deserve to be arrested by the fashion police. But let's get back to the rules. The flag isn't supposed to be used for decoration or promotional reasons. And at the same time, we have businesses that love to put the American flag on anything they can, from pens to logos to road signs, because they know it will help them sell. It will make them seem more patriotic. It's like saying cheers to the land of the free and home of the cheap promotional merch, which was definitely not made in America. You can go into almost any liquor store and buy an American flag beer koozie because nothing screams, I love America, quite like wrapping the beverage that leads to endless poor decisions in the American flag. And a sub rule to this rule is that the flag should never be printed on cushions, napkins, or anything of temporary use like a disposable plate, which means that you should run to your local dollar store and get some new napkins and disposable plates for your 4th of July barbecue. 
And again, this means that so many of the patriotic decorations you and your neighbors have in your lawns are technically disrespectful to our country's flag. And to prove the point that so many people do this unintentionally, Hannah and I drove around and wanted to point out all of the ways that we disrespect the flag. This house thought it could hide the disrespect. These stars only shine disrespect. Pallet flag, pallet flag, pallet flag. Americans love pallet flags. The disrespect. Wow, fun, twirling, and super disrespectful. This business uses the flag for promotion. The disrespect. We may look at this sign and say, oh, just a normal, you know, handy construction sign. Nothing wrong here. But it's actually incredibly disrespectful to our country. This store not only used the flag for its logo, but sold flags that break flag code rules for upwards of $30 a piece. The disrespect. The rule is that you're not supposed to have the American flag on anything disposable. But that is literally a garbage disposal can with a logo with the American flag on it for garbage disposal. We then made our way to Walmart and immediately saw this man with a disrespectful shirt. This is not patriotic. The disrespect. Disney. The disrespect. Eating off of Old Glory. The disrespect. Drinking out of Old Glory. The disrespect. Using Old Glory to clean barbecue off your pudgy sunburned face? The disrespect! This, 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 and whatever these are, disrespectful! When will it end? And again, I can't stress this enough. Literally hundreds of thousands of people break this law at least once a year during the 4th of July. And it probably seems trivial to talk about, it may even seem unpatriotic for me to bring all of this up. And we know that most people break these rules unknowingly. Again, we've broken these rules unknowingly, but that doesn't make it right. And it doesn't mean that we should be okay with breaking these rules and disrespecting the flag of our nation. So the next time that you see someone desecrating the flag, do something. Politely approach them and say, excuse me, sir, but you're violating the United States Flag Code, Section 8, Article C. Please cease your nefarious activities at once and join me in singing, you're a grand old flag. And finally, my fellow Americans, let's try to be better at remembering that the flag does deserve our respect as it represents a nation that is as diverse as it is flawed and is always striving for a more perfect union. Thanks for watching. Have a safe 4th of July. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video because like the flag, our channel's success depends on you. And until next time, these are my thoughts, and I'll see you soon.